Hello guys, and I don't have really good news for gamers that uh, use the popular platform Minecraft because the modding platforms Bucket and CurseForge um, suffer a compromise. And what hackers were able to do was that they were able to insert uh, modware into the mods that Bucket and CurseForge um, right distribute to users um, so what they're uh, basically the attack began when several CurseForge and bucket accounts were compromised and used to inject malicious code into plugins and mods uh, which were then adopted by the popular mod packs such as better minecraft which has over 4.6 million downloads which means that there is potentially 4.6 million computers compromised right now, which is really, really bad. And you can see right now that Curse Perch, um today at 11:42 Eastern Time, they were saying that right now they are looking into the, you know, the incidents uh, where the uh, malicious. Um, user uploaded projects to the platform and this is relevant only to Minecraft users and we have banned all accounts involved and curse and they're saying that they themselves were not compromised in any way but we will see about that because you know how they always come out saying you know any any company that has been hacked they always uh, they don't want to say that they're being hacked until there is actually concrete evidence out there that they were hacked so you need to be very careful if you were one of those that downloaded the mod or any plugin from either curse perch or buck kit so be really careful if i'm you right now what i would do with that computer i would just re-image that computer and start all over again because if you are infected um this malware um targets um, other accounts so after it gets to your computer it's going to try to harvest um, credentials um, like for crypto accounts um, discord accounts and all others i'm going to show you what could be compromised and you can see over here that this was posted also on reddit a lot of reddit that you know the reddit community community were at it and they were also you know everybody was um, investigating this issue looking into their computers scanning their computers and you know just um, providing more information and re basically who is affected for curse perch um, any of those uh, games over here that you can see are affected right now and for bucket here is the list so if you are one of those um, make sure that um, like I said scan your computer and I'm going to show you in a little bit what you need to look for um, like right here. So what is the hacker trying to get? Well, he's trying to get basically credentials So he's going for Microsoft credentials like I said before this core Minecraft account credentials He's trying to get all your cookies. So if you have any saved uh, Passwords on your browser, he's probably gonna go for that. He's probably gonna go for crypto account crypto wallets and, and other stuff and What this malware does is whenever it gets to your computer um it is going to basically con uh, make a connection to this IP address over here. And you can see that it creates this config.pro in the properties. And it's going to have a target to here. So if you look for, um, if you see a config.pro, you might want to take action and just disconnect that computer uh, from the network. Because otherwise, uh, you could, um, it could steal your credentials and probably even install um you know uh, probably even inst install ransomware on your computer so you want to um stay alert if you see anything what what other um uh, what else can you look for so there's some if you see some un unusual entries under the um the registry key so if you go to the registry key current user software microsoft windows current version run um register key a uh, Windows user can use the Razor editor to view these entries or the startup tab in the task manager. You can also do that. A shortcut in the app 
Microsoft Windows Store menu program startup as described below. And in Linux, uh, you have to look for any unusual entries in here as well. If it, if you have a Linux account, so like it's, like you can see right now that this is affecting Linux and also Microsoft. So take a look at your registry, right? If you see any unusual entry, just go ahead and delete it right away. Um, also, if you see, but before you delete it, I would just unplug from the internet, just disconnect from the internet. And yeah, like before you even start doing these manual checks, right? Just go ahead and just unplug from the internet. If you think you are affected, if you think you downloaded any of these plugins or mods, just go ahead and unplug from the internet. That's the best thing you can do right now. Then go ahead and go into the registry, go to this location to see if you see any unusual entries. Um, then go ahead and go to the shortcut to see if you see any un unusual entries. And for Linux, you wanna go into this location, see if there is anything unusual in here. And also in Microsoft, you wanna take a look at the local app data in here or in this other location. And any unusual system daemon services under the Etsy system D is for Linux. Um, it is likely that is named system D utilities that service. So if you see anything like that in there, man, go ahead and delete it. I prefer just to um, back up if you have any pictures or videos or anything, just back it up and re-image your computer. Um, so yeah, this is the, the latest hack. Um, if you were one of the unlucky ones, um, you know, I feel sorry for you guys, but this is happening everywhere. I feel like every every week there's been like a couple hacks, big hacks, not just small hacks, but big hacks. And and this is now affecting um, gamers out there. I am a gamer myself. I don't play Minecraft, but I do play all the games. So uh, one thing that I do, um, since I'm a gamer, I only put all my games in one computer. I don't do anything else on my computer. I have my gaming computer just for gaming. And then my personal one, I put all my personal stuff. So I have two computers. They came in one and then I have a laptop where I have all my personal stuff. So if anybody compromises my, my, you know, my gaming computer, um, they won't be able to, you know, steal any like crypto accounts, uh, crypto wallets or anything like that. I don't put anything on my gaming computer. I just game there and, you know, do all this stuff. But now I try to separate my personal and my gaming stuff. Because on my computers, uh, on my personal computer, I have a, a lot of stuff that I don't want it to be on my gaming computer. Um, because stuff like this uh, could happen, and it's going to continue to happen now. Uh, if this is go if this is successfully, or if this is successful, I guarantee you that the hackers are going to go for more platforms like Butt Kicked and Curse Forge and even Minecraft themselves. So if you're infected. Um, leave a comment below um, and if you're not infected uh, and you know lucky you I'm lucky as well because I don't play Minecraft but if I was you know into Minecraft I was probably gonna be infected because right now they are saying that it is over 4.6 million downloads on those um, plugins and mods so guys you know stay safe out there be careful stay vigilant and I will see you on the next one guys Bye-bye.